Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, if you got a, a swap like mine going on here, uh, early early to late '90s uh, GM pickup truck with a five, you know, four eight five three six zero swap, even the LS style. I'm not really sure about the LS, but I, I can show you what I've got going on with the Vortec truck engines. Here's a a five point seven from '98 uh, oil pressure sending unit, and it's got the uh, the metric adapter over to pipe thread. This is a quarter inch pipe thread right here, and I'm not exactly sure about the metric size here. I don't have a tap and die set for, for that metric size there. And if you notice, this is the um, this is a really uh, late or the later model style oil pressure and sender. It uh, directly communicates with the computer. This one's a little bit older, and then. Um, so I, I kind of put these three here because you might have one of these three going on. This is a, above your oil filter, there's this plate. It's a block off plate for the oil cooler lines. And they're not used on pickup trucks. So this is what I had going on here. I, I went ahead and uh, drilled a hole out. It's 7 16 drill. And then you're gonna follow that with a one quarter inch, uh, let's see, it's quarter by eighth, let's see. Yeah, quarter by 18. Uh, tap and just tap a hole out there you, you draw out those 7 16 and then chase it with the, the tap and then what you're gonna get is you're gonna be able to go ahead and fit this baby right in here let's see if I can do it one-handed here might not be able to well actually I can so once you get this underneath the, the truck I'm gonna go ahead and point it upwards so it'll kind of set something like this. If you can see that's flush right there. And it's just offset over to, uh, if you're looking at the front of the vehicle, it's offset to the right, pointing up. Pretty simple to do. You're gonna take your 98 sender, and then you'll be able to mate it to the, the cap there for the oil filter, uh, excuse me, the oil cooler lines, and just bolt it right up, and then you can drop in your uh, all the wiring that goes to, to this guy here, if you can see it. The wire and go right in there and that's going to drive your your gauge on your dash this one has the same type of plug but there's going to be some different values on the internal portion of it i wouldn't suggest using this one i definitely would um would point you guys in the direction of using your original sender so that everything on the gauge stays constant and accurate and you don't have anything that's that you're going to have to modify to get it to work properly if you have different values on the internal of the of the sender there. Pretty straightforward there guys, so good luck.